This is Rhonda Brooks of Farm Journal Media. We're at Corn College and I'm with Bill Bauer with B&M Crop Consulting out of Coldwater, Michigan. And Bill, uh, you're going to just demonstrate, if you will, how farmers can do a good job of checking their corn pollination, how it's, how it's pollinated essentially. And I think you uh, called the test the shake test. We're going to give it the shake test here today. Uh, one thing that uh, a lot of us are experiencing this week and uh, probably for the next two weeks looking at the forecast is extreme heat that we're going to have during pollination. So once your uh, fields have tasseled, that's a pretty good indication that we're in that time of a pretty critical stage for the crop. We also don't want to look back and, and uh, uh, turn our eye, eye on that corn, but we want to get out to our fields and evaluate how well we pollinated. In order to do that, we need to take some ears and uh, take a sharp knife. We're going to cut into the, the butt of these ears here until um, we see the kernels. Then we're going to take our knives, cut all the way back to the, towards the silks, open these plants up, take your ears and shake them. And if these kernels have pollinated, these silks will fall off. So you can see this ear here has not pollinated at this point. And it's pretty critical to make sure that we're still watching for silk clippers and uh, give it a few more days for scouting uh, until we get this fully pollinated. Compared to an ear that's a little further along where we give it the shake test and most of the silks have been taken off. Okay. Again, we can rip an ear off the corn here. Cut into the butt of the ear until we see kernels. Okay, so cut it until you see kernels. Yep. Okay. Until you see the kernels, and once you see some kernels there, we're going to take the knife, cut back towards the silks, open up the ear here. Try to be gentle without ripping all the silks off on your own. Give it the shake test, and you're going to see that a lot more of those silks have fallen off. And we pollinated most of this corn up to the tips here. How many years should I do? I mean, if I'm I'm wanting to check on my pollination, um, it's going to be a little bit variable based on uh, uh, how much variability you see in your field. But hopefully, everything you've done, the systems approach, everything's pretty uniform. You can probably get by evaluating 10 to 15 plants. 10 to 15 plants per field. Per, per field. Per field. Yeah, okay. Per 40 acres. Okay. Depending on how many acres you're farming and how many hired men you have. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But that'd give me a good indication. All right. Well, that's kind of a cool little test. The shake test. The All shake right, Bill. Test. Thanks a lot. Thank you.